Hi everyone, welcome to another Miro video on this YouTube channel. In this video, we'll take a look at Talk Track, uh, which is Miro's asynchronous uh, ways of working recording, um, where you can basically asynchronously record yourself or, or a presentation uh, in the Miro board itself um, and then just uh, you know have that recording available for your users your audience to to click back and watch it at their own pace now uh, recordings like this uh, a talk track like this is useful for if you want to just have a you know like a pre-meeting video that people should watch uh, or just an onboarding video that people uh, having a look at the mirror board can watch so all of these asynchronous things asynchronous activities can be really really useful if you just added a talk track video to the mirror board itself all right so to record a talk track what you do is you'd go to your mirror board uh, and then you would click on this apps button over here uh, and then click on talk track uh, and then you can see that there'll be an option to record a talk track from here you would need to give access to your uh, camera and microphone to be able to record the video uh, and what you do is you just click on record a talk track uh, and then after a bit uh, the recording will start uh, and then basically you can um, just record whatever it is your Miro content board is uh, and this entire board actually will be recorded uh, and then once you've finished you can just click on stop uh, and then the recording will be over there. To view the recordings, uh, again, go back to talk track uh, and then just click on this one to view the recording. What I can also do is I can just click on the share link for this particular talk track to copy a direct link to this talk track. Uh, and then all I have to do is just paste and then hit enter uh, and then what 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 Miro will do is it will take me directly to the recording uh, and so this is nice if you want to share the recording with someone else and you know uh, the person will straight away head into the uh, talk track video and they can just click on play to view the recording. Now to record another talk track what you can do is again go back to talk track and just click on record a talk track uh, again the camera and and microphone will be accessed of course you can turn this off if you didn't want to uh didn't want to keep the camera on uh, otherwise you can just click on record uh, and the recording will begin uh, and then you can uh, obviously take your team through uh, the board uh, and then once you're done just click on the stop button at the very top of this screen Now what I can also do is I can record a talk track in presentation mode which means that I can click on talk track, record a new one and then when I click on record a talk track I can just enter presentation mode by clicking this present button over here uh, and then this enters a presentation mode so that's full screen uh, which is really nice if you want to sort of record an asynchronous uh, presentation for your team uh, and then that just uh, you know obviously makes it much more easier to consume uh, your content and then of course uh, like with any other presentations you can just use the keyboard keys uh, to loop through your slides or through flick through your slides uh, and then once you're done recording you can just click on stop and once you view your talk track recording with the presentation more you can see the difference that it makes uh, and of course, while you're viewing, you can still make some sticky notes and stuff like that. To view the talk track recordings, you just click on the talk track button to view the recordings that are available. Uh, and then you just click on the play button, which will start the talk track recording. Hi, everyone. I am Sophia and I'm a product marketer at Miro. And, uh, and then you can also go and click on this button to play the next recording, which will just move on to the next recording. Now the thing with the talk track video is that it goes with the mirror board. So let's say if you duplicated a board uh, and that board contains talk track videos 
that talk track videos will also be copied across into the uh, board that you just duplicated. Now you have different talk track features available. One of them is uh, just opening up a talk track video when you are already in a presentation mode. So you just click on the talk track button and it opens up the video and you can display it from there. Now the contents on the Miro board changes often. Uh, and so if your talk track recording is based on certain content of the video, uh, yes, that will be, uh, you know, that will that will may not always stick together. Uh, but fortunately with Miro, you can actually view the talk track and watch the original board the contents of how it was originally. So which means that even though your content has moved, uh, you, you are recording, if you watch it in the original version, it will retain what the Miro board looked like when the recording was created. So it is always in sync. Now with TalkTrack, you can also uh, view uh, your analytics for videos. So let's say if you did uh, create videos and you were just gauging how many people have watched your TalkTrack video uh, you can view the analytics and you can also view who has actually watched your talk track video. A talk track video can be renamed, so it doesn't have to always go with the default name that you get. Uh, and it also can be deleted. Uh, so your talk track, otherwise the video will always stay in the board itself. Uh, but you know, it's good to know that it can also be deleted. Now, the thing with talk track is that it doesn't record the whole screen. It only records the Miro board that is currently in context. So that was a quick video on talk track. Do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Uh, and of course, do like the video, share this video with your network and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's it for this video. Uh, hope to see you soon in another future video. Thank you.